Say hi from Cherish Math. This is the question. In this diagram, AB is the diagonal of rectangle. CF is equal to and FE is equal 1. Find the radius of circle and the area of rectangle. Let me draw a line from the center O to the point of tangent at G. And this line is at right angle with the line of FG. Let this be the radius I denote with R. So this is going to happen as R. And for the length of this, AC is equal to R as well. I'm going to assign theta for this angle. So according to the triangle of FGO, the angle for this part is going to be by using 90 degrees minus theta, simply because this is the supplementary angle and according to the triangle of FCA since this part I label theta it is going to be theta here because of the opposite angle and for this part is going to be 90 degrees minus theta because of the supplementary angle now notice that for these two triangles each part of the angle is the same while for the length OG and AC is the same measurement that are denoted with the letter R. This is the reason why I can confirm that for the triangle of FGO is congruent with the triangle of FCA. Since this triangle is incongruent with this triangle, I can confirm that the length of FG is same as the length of FC. I'm going to label 2 here. Well, for the length of OE, this is the radius of the circle, I'm going to put up as R. And the next step, I will have to solve for what is the value of the R in this triangle of FGO by using Pythagoras theorem. So this is the first step of getting it and expand it. Rearrange the thing to get a value of R, which is at 1.5. Let me color the triangle of FCA and I'm going to take out here, rotate it and I'm going to reposition the th this triangle. I'm going to name the side here as FCA and the FC length is exactly 2 here that I'm going to label on it and the radius is AC which is R here. And now for this triangle FCA is similar to the triangle of FDB which is the bigger one. And I have to label in the same color so that you can see clearer. Here is the proof of the similarity between the two triangles. And this part is at the right angle while for this part this is going to be by using 90 degrees minus theta. This is theta over here. And for those two triangles, FCA and FDB, each part of the angle is the same. So this is the proof of the similarity. I'm now going to use the scale factor to solve the problem for the length of BD. For this length BD and the length of AC is similar to each other. Now, if I use the length of BD divided by AC, which is R, this is going to produce the same scale factor if I use FD, which is the base length here, divided by the similar side of FC, which is I denote with 2. This is going to be. And by filling up for the length of FD, which is 1 plus the radius of 1.5 plus the radius of 1.5, this is going to be cross multiply the values, I'm going to get the BD as 3 units. Let's find out for what is the base length of this rectangle that I highlight here. This is going to be by using 2 plus 1 plus the radius which is 1.5 plus another radius which is 1.5 again. And that is going to be 2 plus 1 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 and the sum of this 
is going to be 6. For this length here, it is the same as the radius. This is 1.5. BD, we got it earlier as 3. To find out for the area of rectangle, I'll be using the value of 6 as the base length. Multiply the height of the rectangle, that will be 3 plus 1.5. And I'm getting 27 units square as the answer. And I solved the problem. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.